Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of NFL predictions. This is week 18, the last week of NFL predictions. And before I get started, I have one little thing to say. I do not mind who you're a fan of. Whether you're a Chiefs fan, Broncos fan, Eagles, Cowboys, I don't mind. It's this channel is for every fan base. Sometimes I won't pick with you, sometimes I'm biased against you. Is whatever happened? Maybe I have some personal bias, but I do not care who you're a fan of. I'm wrong, I'm right sometimes. That's all. Let's get into predictions. All right, and so for this week, some teams are resting stars. I wanted, really only wanted to upload this yesterday, but there were so many unsure teams about whether they're resting starters, and I wanted to try and get them accurate. It, the days help a few teams, but there's quite a few teams that we do not know for sure, so. I could be a time for a quick flip. Hey, maybe, maybe multiple. Who knows? All right, so let's get started with the first game on Saturday, three thirty. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Ravens. So for the Ravens, it's a maybe on resting starters. I'm not completely sure. They dominated the Dolphins last week. Absolutely destroyed them. And he takes on the Steelers, who are on a bit of a hot streak right now with Mason Rudolph. Who would have thought we'd be saying that name this week? No one. Before the season, you'd be crazy. But I am going to take the Steelers here with the Ravens resting their stars. I'm assuming that they probably will. I, I think it might be a little bit more of a preseason type of thing. All right, so for the next game, we have Saturday Night Football. Texans taking on the Colts. I'm really looking forward to this game. I think this is going to be a pretty good game. And... It's going to decide who makes it into playoffs. Whoever wins this game will make it into the playoffs no matter what, as far as I'm aware. And for the Texans last week, destroying the Titans. Colts last week, almost blowing that lead. I was like, oh, Colts have got this pretty locked up. Then I looked at the final score, 20-23. to 23. They almost let that get out of hand. But they didn't. They barely skated the way to win. Hey, so editor here. I forgot to pick here, so I'm taking the Colts. All right, and so for another next game, we have the Browns taking on the Bengals. So for the Bengals last week, losing to the Chiefs, which decimated their playoff hopes for the year. And the Browns, they are resting their starters from what I've heard. They're definitely resting starters. And for that reason, I am going to take the Bengals to barely eke out a win against the Browns playing their backups. All right, and so for the next game, we have the Vikings taking on the Lions. So for the Vikings, getting decimated by the Packers, and now their playoff hopes look very, very slim. They take on the Lions, who, as far as I've heard, are not resting their starters. They are not. They will be playing the starters, and so I am going to take the Lions here because that feels like an obvious choice, and we all know what happened last week with Notre Dame. All right, so for the next game, we have the Jaguars taking on the Titans. So for the Jaguars last week, blowing out the Panthers, and that was a pretty good win, but also it was against the Panthers, so who knows. And they take on the Titans, which their division, this these division, if the Jaguars win, they get the division. If they don't, it's either Colts or Texans, assuming they don't tie, which probably won't happen. And they take on the Titans. And I am actually going to take the Titans to knock out the Jaguars. It might be a bit of a crazy one. It might be the one that gets flipped. But for now, I am going to take the Titans. All right, and so for the next game, we have the Jets taking on the Patriots. So for the Jets, last week, getting crushed by Joe Flacco. I am going to take the Patriots to get the win because it looks like that team is totally demoralized. And it looks like the Patriots have a little bit of fight left in them. But it feels like the Jets have just fallen apart at this point of the season, and they've given up. Patriots, last week, losing in a nail-biter to the Bills. It should not have been a nail-biter. With how many picks Bailey Zappi threw in that first half or quarter, I don't remember which, they should not, that should not have been a close game. The game we have is the Falcons taking on the Saints. So for the Falcons losing embarrassingly to the Bears. I believe Taylor Heineke suffered an injury. I don't know if that's going to affect him this week or if he was benched. I believe it was an injury. 
But yeah, and the Saints, they crushed Buccaneers, keeping those two playoff teams' playoff hopes alive. Yes, both of their teams' playoff hopes alive. And I am actually going to take the Falcons because the Saints did good last week, so that means they do bad this week. Logic. Trust me. All right, so the next game we have the Bucks taking on the Panthers. So for the Bucks last week, losing, it should not have been that close. Like, they got some late scores to make that game competitive. At the beginning, it looked like it was going to be an obliteration. The Saints almost blew it, but they did not. So if they lose this game, they lose the division. And they take on the Panthers, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I am going to take the Bucks this week, and David Temper should be forced to sell the team. And so the next game we have, the Bears taking on the Packers. Similar situation from last year. Packers blow out the Vikings week 17. Next week, play a division rival that they win and they're in. Lose and they're not. And I'm going to tell that history repeats itself. Bears beat the Packers. And let's move on. Next game we have the Broncos taking on the Raiders. So for this game, a pretty... Eh, uh, it's kind of like a last second match of... I think these teams might be done. It is going to be a little important for Antonio Pierce because he's trying to keep his job. So I am going to, for that reason alone, give the Raiders an edge. All right, so for the next game, we have the Eagles taking on the Giants. The Eagles may be resting their starters. I don't know. They're another one of the teams that's unclear. So I'm going to go on the assumption they are. And for that reason, I like how the Giants looked last week. So I am going to take the Giants here. Especially with the Eagles, how they've looked the past few weeks. Not great at all. Alright, so the next game we have the Seahawks taking on the Cardinals. So, since the Seahawks lost last week, this is a vital game for them. They, It's a must win if they want to make the playoffs. They take on the Cardinals, who beat the Eagles last week. And I am going to take the Seahawks here. I would not be surprised if the Cardinals pull off an upset, but I am going to take the Seahawks. All right, and so for the next game, we have the Chiefs taking on the Chargers. And so for the Chargers, losing last week to the Broncos, a pretty uninteresting, boring game. And they take on the Chiefs, who are likely resting their starters, but I'm not 100% on it yet. And I am still going to take the Chiefs, though. Uh, I just don't have enough faith in the Chargers team that they're going to hit up win. All right, and so for the next game, we have the Rams taking on the 49ers. So for this game, Rams, it's not likely, but it is possible for them to rest their starters this week since they can only go down one spot. And they take on the Niners, who are definitely resting starters. I don't know who, but I know they are resting starters this week. And for this game, I am going to take the 49ers because, again, I... I think they're going to win. I would not be surprised at all if the Rams win. It would not surprise me at all. But I am for now going to take the Niners. All right. So for the next game, we have the Cowboys taking on the Commanders. And so for this game, it's pretty important for the Cowboys to win. Because if the Eagles lose, if they lose and the Cowboys win, then they will win the division, which is very important because then they'll get home field advantage. And they take on the Commanders, which is a very weak team, and I think they can get the win this week. And I do not think they're start resting their starters, so I'm going to take the Cowboys this week. The Bills and the Dolphins facing each other, Sunday night, primetime game. And for the Bills last week, narrowly escaping with a victory against the Patriots, escaping a Patriots sweep, which would have been hilarious, but it didn't happen. They took on the Dolphins, who got their got destroyed by the Dolphins. Yeah, they got destroyed by the Dolphins. They got destroyed by the Ravens. And they took some brutal injuries. Like Bradley Chubb and Xavier Howard are out. And I'm I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure Tua is good to go for week 18. And I am going to take the Dolphins to get the win here and win the division. 
All right. And so that will do it for my week 18 picks. I will see you in the playoffs where I will do my playoff predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed. If that random picks were good, tell me in the comments. If you thought my picks were okay, tell me in the comments. If you thought my picks were bad, tell me in the comments. If you have any other comments, tell me in the comments. I'll see you next one. Bye.